So have you gotten the chance to read through the border bill yet? You know, I have, and I just got off the plane from Montana, and I can tell you it's a non-starter. And let me begin by saying the president of the United States has the authority to shut down the border, in part, in whole. And President Biden has chosen not to. Uh, he has the full authority to do that, and he has the resources to shut down the border. Uh, the battle is between may and shall shut down the border, and this particular uh, bill is not a border security bill at all. It's an immigration bill. And and uh, I am shocked uh, that it came from the Senate in this condition. And just let me highlight a couple of, of the issues. It codifies 5,000 illegal immigrants coming across our country before we take action. It codifies uh, catch and release. It doesn't empower ICE to do their job. It doesn't empower the Border Patrol to do their job. It doesn't build a wall. It, uh, it, 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 all it does is gives a freebie to illegal immigrants. Unfortunately, you know what it does is it gives legal protection. Uh, it provides legal assistance. Uh, it's a terrible bill. Um, I mean, how do you feel about the... I, I feel like there is a lot of money that's going into strengthening the the border. I feel like there's a lot of technology that's going into it. I mean, how do you feel about that? You know, on the technology side, uh, it's great that we have technology, but you need action after it, right? Uh, just monitoring who's coming across the border is not the mission. It's to, to seal out the border and secure our border. So, again, President Biden has full authority to shut down the border in partial or, or in total, but he's chosen not to. He has the resources to do it as well. Remember, the decision was his not to build the wall. The funding was there. And lastly, this bill is an immigration bill. It's not a border security bill at all. But again, it, it codifies 5,000 illegal immigrants coming across the border before any action is taken at all. Yeah. And if you go back to even uh, President Obama, the secretary at the time, I think, said, you know, over a thousand inundates the system. And, you know, as far as an, uh, an immigration bill, we want legal immigration, not illegal. And look, there's people that have been in line for years uh, trying to get a legal access to this country to work. And those we should prioritize, not illegal aliens. Right. Um and, and just out of curiosity, because I've been trying to poke through uh, the bill and uh, you, you've you got a stronger constitution than I, because that thing is that's meaty. That's a lot of pages. And where where does it say the 5000? Uh, well, we, we will give it to you. It's up to matter of fact, here it is right here. It, it allows up to one point eight million illegal aliens to enter before temporary closing parts of the border. So what it does is it codifies that number before they close the border. On average, that's 5,000 illegal immigrants a day coming across our, our border before they decide we have an emergency and we need to close it. The number really is zero. So we're, we're you know, illegal. There, there's, a, there's a difference between legal immigration and there are fine people that have been waiting in line for years to have their paperwork being processed. Uh, they've done uh, checks. We know they're going to be value added, uh, you know, participants in our in our democracy. But but to focus on illegal immigration and then give everyone a work visa rewards bad behavior. Well, why would anyone want to wait in line when you can just run across and get a work visa? So that, that, let's, let's do it. Let's do it legally. Make sure we know who's here. Yeah. And, you know. I think I got everything I need. Is there anything I forgot to ask you? No, I, I think the speaker is is correct. Uh, it is dead on arrival because this is not a border security bill at all. And, and quite frankly, you know, if you if you wanted a border security bill, I would I would go probably to ask the Texas representatives, both in the House and the Senate, to come with a bill because I think Texas sees it, you know, every day in the face. You know, uh, but it's it's not, you know, I, so I think they should have probably let it. 
but I, you know, this is an issue that affects every part of America to, to including billions, you know, uh, you mentioned the war in in Ukraine, you know, that's that, you know, that pairing of it, Ukraine, we, we watch on TV, um, but the border, we see it in Missoula. We see it in Billings. We see it in, everywhere across Montana in fentanyl and sex trafficking, child trafficking, you know, really tough problems uh, because of a lack of border. And unfortunately, uh, this bill uh, doesn't meet the mark of securing our border.